Morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Lovely to see your happy, smiling faces on this lovely, sunny morning. And the internet's working. Hooray! So, um, we're not going to be relying on videos as much today, and we're going to try as much as we can doing live. So, you may have to bear with us. <laughs> we are looking today at Jonah and the well. And so, we're going to start off with a little video. <laughs> God wanted Jonah to travel to the city and preach. Jonah didn't want to go, he didn't have the interest to teach. He tried to run away from God by catching the next ship out of town. But God could see everything and Jonah was immediately found. God spoke to Jonah, but Jonah didn't want to hear. He asked him to travel and help get his message clear. God was unhappy and caused a storm out on the sea. The ship nearly sank and Jonah cried, God's punishing me. The ship's crew heard Jonah and realized the storm was his fault. The storm was his fault. And threw him overboard and then the storm came to a halt. Spoke to Jonah, but Jonah didn't want to hear. He asked him to travel and he'll get his message clear. Alone in the ocean and far away, the ship did sail. God sent poor Jonah some help in the form of a whale. Swallow Jonah from deep inside Jonah did pray For three days and three nights inside the whale he would stay The whale swam to shore and spat Jonah out on the beach God again told Jonah he must travel to the city and preach this time he did obey and let them all know about God. The people all listened and then they all believed in his love. God spoke to Jonah, but Jonah didn't want to hear. He asked him to travel and help get his message clear. Yes, God spoke to Jonah, but Jonah didn't want to hear. It's clear. Yes, God spoke to Jonah, but Jonah didn't want to hear. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Good. Excellent. Um. 
So we heard there about Jonah and he got trapped inside the whale. So our first craft this morning, um, we're going to have our whale and then there is Jonah in his, in his whale. So you need a um, piece of paper <clears throat> and what I uh, did start off with was uh, cut a little bit off my page, so about an inch. Um, yeah, that's it. And then, oh, I'm not using my scissors. Then I've got like a little bit here, and that's what I'm going to use my go over um, Jonah. So um, when I was drawing my wheel, I found it easiest to start with his mouth and then draw the top bit round. You don't want uh, it to be too big. You want enough space to put Jonah in. So, like, so I started like drawing that bit first. And then I did his tail. And then a little triangle shape, his little fin at the back. Yeah. And then kind of straightish line along the bottom and then up to the curve on his mouth. Then yeah, it's good. And then one circle for the outer part of his eye. And then a smaller circle, which you can colour in to make his little pupil. So then he'll come alive. And then at the top, I drew a little like upside down C shape. That was my little water hole. And then I just drew some splashes out of the top. Yeah. And then in the space there between like the end of his mouth and his fin, that's where you want to draw Jonah. When I, I drew my Joan, I just sat in at the bottom. Once you've drawn your Jonah, you want to take your extra bit of paper that you had and measure it so that it covers Jonah and then you can trim it. And then I just glued a little flap down at the top so I could make him disappear.
and then once you've done that if you've got any colored pencils you can color them in blue if you like Jack's done his, he's not coloured it in yet. He's done his little flat the other way. There's Joe not. Right, let's see if we've got some others. Oh, oh lovely. Look. Beautiful. Well done. Oh, excellent. Is that yours, Eric? Yes. Good job. Um, Margaret, excellent. Um, Nan's, let me see yours again, Nan. Great. We do have a very artistic bunch of people with us today. Excellent. Michaela, is that yours? Excellent. And then Cody, is that Cody's or Fraser's? Fraser! <laughs> Well done, Fraser. This must be Cody's. Lovely. Oh, I can see Malcolm holding his up. Great. Oh, I love yours, Malcolm. He's a very happy whale. Lovely. Oh, I can see Tim's got one up. Oh, Tim and June. Great. <laughs> no worries, Margie, now you do. <laughs> um, I can see Ali's got hers up. Great, Ali. Fantastic. Uh, Colin and Pam. Excellent. I can see Ron as well. Great. Oh, look at me sitting underneath. Fantastic. Yeah. I'll well, show yours now. Lucy's got hers. Hang on. Yeah, she's got her wheel. She just needs to stick her lap on. Um. Right, well done everybody. If um, if you can take some pictures of them and we, then we can upload them to the Facebook page, that would be um, great. We're now going on to um, Jen and we're going to sing Chuffed, which I'm sure you'll all be able to remember. Put the music on and then Jen's going to show you the actions for the song. So if you'd like to stand up, 
uh, if you can, then you can stand up and join in. Depends on what view we'll have of you on the camera. <laughs> but I will choose. Yeah. Okay. Can you hear us? Yes, we can. Good. Right, pop that down because we're going to do the. Well, stand back and we'll do chat and you can finish that afterwards, okay? <laughs> A moment I'm going to read you the rhyming Bible version of Jonah and the whale and it is called Swallowed. The Ninevites were nasty, they were cruel and no good. God sent his prophet Jonah to tell them where they stood. Change your evil ways and turn your lives around. I'll give you 50 days then I'll knock your city down. But Jonah wasn't happy when God gave him this news. He feared the men of Nineveh. He hated them too. He decided not to tell them 
about God's gracious plan and hoped God would destroy them, every woman and man. Jonah learned the hard way that God is in control, that hating is not great and it will swallow you whole. So off he went to Tarshish on board a foreign ship, as far away from Nineveh as he could sneak and slip. But God was watching anyway and sent a mighty gale and Jonah was thrown overboard and swallowed by a whale. He waited there for three long days and that is when he knew that God had given him a second chance to do what he should do. So Jonah prayed a sorry prayer, admitted God was right, and when the whale had spat him out, went to the Ninevites. Jonah learned the hard way that God is in control, that hating is not great, and it will swallow you whole. So Jonah told the Ninevites the thing that God had planned. The Ninevites said sorry, every woman and man. But Jonah was not happy, his heart still filled with hate. He muttered and he moaned, for he knew God's love was great. I knew that you would save them, Jonah grumbled to God. And God replied, but Jonah, tell me why you think that's odd. I offer my forgiveness, for that is my delight, even to people who don't know wrong from right. Jonah learned the hard way that God is in control, that hating is not great, and it will swallow you whole. You can come up for just a second. I'm going to do the whales now. So just give me a second. Right. So, following that story, we are going to make an origami paper whale. I'm going to try to tilt it down so you can see what I'm doing with the paper and that I can talk you through it at the same time. So hopefully you can all see. Just need a single sheet of A4, a pair of scissors and a pencil. One of the children have taken my scissors at the moment, so I'll just get those back. Um, thank you. So with your paper, take one corner and you're going to fold it over until it meets the other side in a straight edge. And what we're doing here, if you fold that, you're making that triangle and what that will give us when we open it out is a square so once you've folded it neatly across brought that corner and lined it up you then need to take your scissors and snip off the rectangle at the end we can save that for later one second Anna. yeah one second I'll snip those for you so what you should be left with is a perfect square I'd like you to lay that out in front of you in a diamond shape Is everybody with me so far? I'm trying to watch as well. Yep, okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to bring the side across to the middle and we're going to create a nice sharp fold there and do the same with the other side so that we're forming a kite shape. One second, my darling. So that you've got a kite shape. making a whale darling. So what you then need to do is fold that in half and then 
open it out and fold it the other way just so we're making that middle crease really really sharp and if you just do that a couple of times and then lay your diamond well your kite shape back out in front of you with the unfolded top away from you Everybody okay? Great. So now what we're going to do is you're going to take this top corner of your unfolded section, bring it down so that it meets the middle fold like that. Can you all see? Folded that down so it's met the middle. So when you then fold it in half, and stand it up, you've got your basic whale shape. I'm just trying to show you again. Right, there you go, there's your whale shape. Okay, has everybody got their basic whale shape now? Fantastic. What we need to do now is create his tail and we're going to create that with the long pointy end. So what you need to do is fold it so that it creates a triangle. So you're folding it back over the whale's body. Then you turn it over and you fold it back over the whale's body the other way. And just do that a couple of times so that you're getting, again, a nice sharp crease. And then this is the slightly tricky bit. Little ones might need a little bit of help. If you stand your whale up, open him slightly, you're going to push so that the tail folds up on itself like that. Oh. Okay, and then what we're going to do again with the scissors. Thank you. What you're going to do with the scissors is just put a small snip at the top of his tail, probably half an inch, and then just bend those out so that they flatten. So you've then got just hang on, darling. You've then got your whale shape. If you lay him onto his side, you can draw on his eye and a big smiley mouth, or draw on his eye and his big open mouth, ready to swallow Jonah. And you should have a nice 3D whale that will stand up by itself. Now, the small rectangle that we cut off to begin with, if you do exactly the same thing, you can also make a baby whale to go with it. So you can have a big whale and a baby whale. Yours is a girl. Let's show everyone yours. So that's Michaela's. Yes. 
they go back the whole time. And that's your origami paper whales. Pam, can you hold yours up again? I saw yours in the air. Great job. Matthew holding his up. I can see you patiently waiting for me to spotlight you there, Matthew. Excellent, Kath. Well done. Well, I got it. I got this. Nan, did you have yours up? Excellent. I can see it, Mum. Harry, is that your one? Well done. Yes. Excellent. Okay, thank you, Rachel, for um, mm -hmm. the, our origami whale. And um, we're going to sing uh, another song now. Um, oh, sorry, Rich. Uh, Lucy wants me to show you hers. Let me go there first. Um, we're going to sing "If I Were a Butterfly." Uh, Lucy and I are going to do the actions we've got the music so um if you can sing along Right, we're going to say a quick prayer now. So if we all put our hands together, put them in our laps. Eric, if you could do that, that'd be helpful. Hands together, in our laps, heads down, and close our eyes. 
Dear Father God, thank you for sending your son, Jesus, to die for our sins. When we do something wrong, we can come to you, confess our sins and be forgiven. We thank you because we don't ever have to hide from you and be alone and lost in our sins. We thank you, Father God. We pray this in your name and we say together, Amen. 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 Right, so we're going to do another Messy Church favourite, um, which is Make a Melody. In my heart. So we're going to do that together. In my heart. So those who are able can stand up. Those who are not able to stand up, sit down. Let me just do that to them, okay? <laughs> okay. I'm going to go with this. Right, you go that side. Make a melody in my heart. Make a melody in my heart. Make a melody in my heart to the king of kings thumbs up. Make a melody in my heart. Make a melody in my heart. Make a melody in my heart to the king of kings thumbs up. Thumbs up. Elbows out. Elbows out. Make a melody in my heart. Make a melody in my heart. Make a melody in my heart to the king of kings. Thumbs up, thumbs up, elbows out, elbows out, knees bent, knees bent. Make a melody in my heart. Make a melody in my heart. Make a melody in my heart to the king. Of kings, thumbs up, thumbs up, elbows out, elbows out, knees bent, knees bent, feet apart, feet apart. Make a melody in my heart. Make a melody in my heart. Make a melody in my heart to the king. Of kings, thumbs up, thumbs up, elbows out, elbows out, knees bent, knees bent, feet apart, feet apart, turn around, turn around, make a melody in my heart, make a melody in my heart, make a melody in my heart, to the king, of kings, thumbs up, thumbs up. Elbows out, elbows out, knees bent, knees bent, feet apart, feet apart, turn around, turn around, tongues out, turned out. Well done. <laughs> So, last thing is birthdays. If there have been any birthdays since last time we met. Not sure, Sam, if you can put your hand up if you spotlight have birth, anybody who's had, had a birthday. birthday. I can't. Oh, there we go. Oh, Hello. Nana or June and Tim yeah. or Pop Pop. Yeah. <laughs> Colin. Colin. And Sandy. Sandy. What do you mean you say? Jack. Sandy and Jack. Jack. Yes, of course. Uh, I think that's everybody. So we've got June, Tim, Colin, Sandy and Jack. Jack. Is that right? Yeah. Wonderful. Are you ready to sing? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. 
Daddy Bear to him, calling Santa down the Happy birthday to you. Did you make a bad one? Yeah. So that's it. Thanks everybody for joining us. And uh, it's been brilliant. And we're worn out now. <laughs> thank you. Yes. I'm just trying to unmute everybody now. All right. Thank you, Messi team. Yes, thank, thank, you. Yes. thank you. 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 <laughs> Eric wants a family of whales, so that's what I'll be doing today. <laughs> to have quite a collection here with my practices and all the ones that have just been made. <laughs> I've got an entire pod of whales, including babies. <laughs> 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 one of my babies. That's a lot of whales, isn't that? Enjoying. If we descend it on Facebook, so you just go then. <laughs> Yes, we just go. Notice there's no chocolate in the man's. Oh, oh. Gone, finally. <laughs> oh. Well, it's having a rest. Uh, <laughs> oh, you'll, you'll have to you'll have to join us next week to see if it reappears. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's what they call a teaser in the game. <laughs> Not a Malteser. Not a Malteser, no, not a Malteser. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to send in photos of your whales, then we'll put them on Facebook. You can send them to Jen or Sam or Rachel or me. Anybody will be able to put them up on Facebook. Thank you. 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 Oh, and our lives. That's Rachel. Oh, yes, that's the mother, of course. <laughs> Rachel is the mother. Rachel's the one who read the poem.